of the nation, Nandi Kano Igboho, Buhari's government has come to its wit's end, Afani Fere. Greetings to you all. Hope you are doing great in your respective locations. A saint was asked, what is anger? He gave a beautiful answer. It is a punishment we give to ourselves for somebody else's mistake. To all my amazing subscribers, returning and yet to be subscribers, happiness is free. Please kindly give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Prosecution will compound agitations. He'll win. We blow Buhari administration. Nigeria, no good. Dayo Joksin, Akare. Afani Ferry, the pan Yoruba social political group, has said that the federal government has come to its wit's end in the case with the Biafra leader, Nanda Kano, and other self agitators in the country. Its General Secretary, Chief Shola Ebiseni, in a statement issued in Akure, said that without free justice to so the determination of the case by the court, it is clear that its end will certainly compound agitations on the national question and ill wind that will blow the Buhari administration and Nigeria no good. The statement reads, with the amended seven counts charges against Nandi Kano as released by the press, it appears the federal government has come to its wit's end in the case with the Biafran leader and self-determination agitations generally. It is time that the Attorney General Abubakar Malami exercised authoritative superintendence over his office as the chief law officer and advisor of the federal government in a way that the interest of the nation may be served than indulging in petty politicking to massage the ego and pander to the personal idiosyncrasies of the president. For instance, the alleged name calling of Muhammad Buhari in April 2015, even before it became the president, would ordinarily be ignored as childish vulgar abuse unworthy of a high profile criminal prosecution. The height of childishness in all, the other charges Kano is either being prosecuted for alleged statements made in a foreign land and alleged leader of the proscribed IPOB inciting secession from Nigeria or threatening that anyone who flattered a citizen order should prepare his or her will. It leaves a sour taste in the mouth of serious-minded people that the reason for Kano's day in court was an alleged broadcast that in two weeks' time, what will happen will shake the world. People will die. The whole world will stand still. Mark my word. Like for real. Months have gone by since May when he allegedly made the statement abroad, the apocalypse is not yet here. Why such inciting statements are punishable under the relevant laws? It is instructive that government did not say anything about the intended outcome except allegations that banks, schools, markets, shopping malls, fuel stations were not open for businesses and vehicular movement grounded thereby. But please kindly give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel. Thank you. It is saddening. Speaks of multiple standards in the governance of Nigerian and a sad commentary on the unity of Nigerian that this same government has in the hallowed recesses of its administration and in charge of a most sensitive ministry of communication, Issa Ali Ibrahim Patami, whose statement is of a higher incendiary propensity than those of Kano and with possible aggravated enormous consequences, yet as government not deem it important to investigate such statements, declaring support for El Quadra 
Boko Haram, their leaders and activities, including we are all happy whenever unbelievers are being killed and that no believers should work for a secular government. There are other terrible allegations which the president took in his stride because the guy has apologized. The outcome of this prosecution, which is lacking in statesmanship and nobility of character, whichever way it goes, will only enhance the image of the defendant and in the worst possibility even of conviction, increase his status as a prisoner of conscience. Those who opine that if anything happens to Kano, that the agitation associated with him would suffer or that others would thereby be deterred are merely deceiving themselves and government. A government that admits that mere words of Kano has become law, either by legitimate obedience or fear, even while in detention, should think out of the box. Ebesini said that the appropriate mindset is to admit that Nigerian as wobbling contraption of entrenched nationalities is negotiable and that negotiations do not necessarily lead to dismemberment. Let the dialogue begin now.